Now you must be thinking, are mappings and arrays the same thing? So answer to this question is no. Mappings and arrays are not the same thing. Definitely syntax wise, if you will see, they look the same, right? Okay, this is how you store data into an array. This is how you access a data from an array. So syntax wise, it might look same, but mappings are very, very, very much different from arrays. And let us see this and let us understand this. Now let us understand the difference between mapping and array. So this is how our mapping looks like, right? So let's say we have rule number one. At rule number one, we have stored this name to John and the same way we have all the names and all these names are mapped to a roll number. So this is how we create a mapping, right? Now, if I want to do the same thing with this array, then how it will look, okay? Then how it will look inside our memory. So let us see that. So if I will do the same thing inside an array, it will look something like this. Because as you are storing at index one, we are having the name Ravi. At index two, we having the name John, four, Alice, and at seven, we have Akash. So one thing to notice here is that if we are doing the same thing like we have done with mapping, in mapping, you will see that there are no empty slots, right? There are no empty slots. While to do the same thing with an array, it has a lot of empty slots. And the reason is very simple because in mapping, if you will see at one, we are not actually storing roll number in a continuous fashion, right? We are storing roll number in a discontinuous fashion. So at one, then two, then four and seven. So there is no continuity here, right? While for mapping, as we all know that mapping or sorry, actually array, while in array, everything is actually stored in a contiguous fashion, in a continuous fashion. So that's why we have so many empty slots. And all these empty slots are actually getting wasted, right? Now just think, in order to store four values in an array, I have to create an array of size eight, right? Because the highest index value is seven. So I have to create an array of size eight. And in those size eight array, various slots are getting wasted. Four slots are getting wasted. While if we do the same in mapping, if you will clearly see mapping, we are not actually wasting any kind of slot because mapping is actually working on hash kind of data structure. Okay. So like if you have studied dictionary in Python, right? So mapping are working just like the same and mapping are much faster than array because they are not storing data in a continuous fashion. They are storing data randomly. Okay. And that's how mapping are different than array. So which to use, when to use depends upon whether you want to store continuous data or whether you want to store discontinuous data. So if you want to store continuous data, in that case, array will be the best choice. But if you want to store data in a discontinuous manner, then mapping will be the best choice. And other difference between mapping and array is that mapping are not iterable. You cannot run loops on mapping. But in case of array, arrays are iterable and you can run loops on an array. So this is how mapping and arrays are two different data structures and you have to use them according to the need, according to the use. So remember these two points, mapping stores data in non-contiguous fashion, while arrays store data in contiguous fashion, mappings are not iterable while arrays are iterable. So I hope by now the concept of mapping as well as what is the difference between mapping and array are clear and we will meet soon in the next video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay?